Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I'm not gonna say hey. Hello. <laughs> so I have Abigail here with me, and so this video is going to be either very boring or very interesting, <laughs> depending on where you're coming from if you care. But um, so people always ask us like, you know, what do y'all do? What's your profession? What's your experience? Like, what you know, what do you do at work? What's your day-to-day -day life at work? Blah blah blah. And this video is going to be kind of addressing that. So if you don't know, we're both. Engineers. I became a electrical engineer, and I'm a chemical engineer, and um, we both went to the same school and all that kind of stuff. But this video, we're talking about what we do, what we've been doing. We've been out of college for three years, four years for me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah. So we've been out of college for about three to four years. So we'll talk to you about our experience, what we work as, what we've been doing since then, and I think you want to kick it off? Sure. I am an electrical engineer by degree. Got my bachelor, bachelor's in electrical engineering from the Texas A&M University. And um, the start, <laughs> decided to go take on that profession focusing on power systems in the refining industry. So I work in a refinery and my first role out of college was to pretty much manage the electrical power system of the refinery um, from the different voltage levels all the way down to your, you know, typical 120 or regular house household appliances to hundreds of thousands of volts. So this includes all the protective devices, all the um, cabling, breakers, and everything that has to do with that. So after finishing that, I moved into instrumentation, which is a little bit more um, involved because you're dealing with process and how to measure process. So depending on what people in operations who are actually running the refinery want to see, mm -hmm. you um, provide them equipment that can help them see what they want to see. So specific pressures, temperatures, levels, oil content, and you roll that into a way that is understandable to the layman and where they can run the plan more efficiently. So to sum things up, I pretty much have had experience working on power systems, which is high level, high voltage electrical equipment, and then instrumentation, which is more of your electronics and measurement devices on a low voltage level scale. So that kind of wraps it up. Wow, good job. You only, you only used two minutes, jeez. Okay, I don't know if I can, I'm trying to make a brief, as brief as that, but um, okay. Um, but let me just ask you some questions. So like, do you work like on your day-to-day -day basis? Like you go to work, mm -hmm. what do you do? Like from the morning to when you come back to work? What, okay. fam, like five, five things that you do throughout the day? So I typically have a plan that I hope to achieve for the day, mm -hmm. but a lot of times, which is more like 95% of the time, mm -hmm. I show up to work and I read my emails mm -hmm. and listen to voicemails of all the things that have gone wrong over the night and things that are pressing issues things that for example my current role which is more involved like i said you know overnight maybe uh they lost the ability to see the level inside a tower or they lost the ability to measure all content and it's a regulation from the epa that all content needs to be measured at all times in your wastewater system so then you go ahead and put all those fires out. And after that is done, there are more long lead items that I yes, attend to, like, like projects. Mm -hmm. And then there are also shorter term maintenance projects that I deal with, which I also attend to as well. Reliability improvements, like the way we run through our process of fixing broken equipment and um, attending to bad actors, which are pretty much things that keep failing over and over again, how to prevent that from happening. So you handle all the fire, putting fires out, <laughs> you handle putting fires out, and then also- Not you, literally. 
Yes, obviously. Yes, yeah. you. Some people might think you actually put fires out. No, you handle so, attendance to all the pressing yeah. issues, and then the medium, which are short term uh, fixes. Then you have the medium term and long term fixes. So okay. that's kind of what I do. Awesome. All right. So I guess I'll go ahead and get started with mine. So uh, I studied chemical engineering, like I mentioned earlier, and uh, throughout college I did internships like in upstream um, oil and gas. So I actually got an opportunity to do a petroleum engineering internship before I graduated. So I got hired on as a petroleum engineer, working as a production engineer, and I was working for an asset in um, Oklahoma, and um, but I was based in Houston. And so production engineer is kind of what you do is you're in charge of, you kind of monitor production of your wells, and so like for example if a well goes down, you're in charge of figuring out why, you're in charge of like developing artificial lift to get it back up. What is a well? A well is something that drilling engineers drill to get oil out the ground. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also another aspect of my job was um, managing like our budget, so all the operating expenses that we... Um, a crew in the field, you know, kind of manage it, make sure you're not going over budget in one sense, and then you also um, forecast budgets, forecast production for the field, you know, in the future, things like that. So you really interact with like the field specialists, people who actually work in the field and, you know, go to a pump and, you know, make sure everything is going on. So you interact with those people, you interact with like finance, you interact with regulatory, which is people who make sure that you're following the laws, you interact with a whole bunch of people. So that was that job. It's a lot more, but I'm just trying to be very brief. Um, and then after that, so I did that for about a year and a half. After that, I moved into a reservoir engineering role, which is also kind of an umbrella of petroleum engineering. And in that, in that role, I actually was assigned a project where I was, um, we were trying a technique of, of getting oil out of the ground. And so I'm trying to explain it in a way that's like the most simplest and it's really really hard but the technique was injecting um, carbon dioxide inside the ground <laughs> it feels like i'm talking to a five-year-old but the technique was injecting carbon dioxide inside the ground to get the oil to come out um of the ground so that was my project and i you know we had a couple wells we we're testing it out with a couple wells and so i was project managing that project and then after that i did that for not even up to a year maybe like 10 months or so and my current role right now is I'm actually um, in charge of booking reserves for um, a couple fields in uh, in Texas, I guess you can say, in some other areas, but in the New Mexico and things like that. But hold on, let me not lose my care of thought. Um, I know what you're gonna ask. What's reserves, right? Yeah. <laughs> so reserves is basically how much oil, you know, a company or a field or an area, however you want to um, describe it, has. So that's kind of what reserves is. So how much economical oil you have in the ground. And then it could also be, it depends, there are different kinds of reserves, but proved reserves are the ones that are like economical. And then there's like reserves that you maybe can get, but you're not really sure. Anyways, but reserves is just basically oil that's in the ground and how much it is, how much of that is in the ground. But um, so yeah, that's what I do now. We estimate, so you do like decline curves to try to estimate how much oil you're gonna get over the life of the field. And um, like this year I should be like a qualified res reserves evaluator, estimator, whatever you wanna call it. So that's what I do right now. Um, yeah, so yeah. Yeah, what do you do day to day? <laughs> um, for me it's a, lot, it's a little bit different, especially now that I'm like doing uh, like reserves. So. I'm in the office all day, and uh, just like IBK, I check emails in the morning. Anything that I've missed, um, I reach out to whoever I need to reach out to um, in terms of like what I need to get done. And then I work on whatever project or um, assignment that I have to do pretty much throughout the day. We have like couple meetings. Um, the role I'm in right now, we don't have that many meetings, but we might have like I don't know, four or five meetings that I have to like attend throughout the week. The tools, tools that you use a lot. So I use Excel like a lot, like every day. Oh man, as far as tools, I use a lot of uh, different software. Number one, when I used to work in the first part of my career working in the power systems group, I used um, 
S the uh, Switzer Engineering Labs programming software to oh, that? <laughs> to to write protective schemes for um, relays for the electrical systems. Then also Excel is the typical tool um, that I deal with on day to day. Another one is the one for GE protective relays. Enervista is pretty much writing um, programs. <laughs> They don't know all these tools now. Just like the ones that they would use, like Excel, like PowerPoint, like stuff that they can. I'm just saying, like, they don't know what you're talking about. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> Anyways, um... I, yeah. You shouldn't have asked me what tools I use, okay, if sorry. you don't want me to say what tools I use. Right. Um, what else do we want to talk about? So, do you like your job? Do you like what you do? I enjoy what I do because I, the biggest thing I enjoy about what I do is the interaction with different disciplines and trying to explain your thought process and what you're doing to someone who's not involved. I'm not as involved. <laughs> do you enjoy what you do, lady? Yeah, I enjoy it. It can be very challenging, so I, I enjoy things that bring the challenge and like solving problems and figuring out creative ways and different ways to solve problems that people have been solving for years. Why are you trying to be sexy and saying I'm that? not trying to be sexy, I was just saying... I gotta cut that part out because I really wasn't trying to be sexy. Anyways, but yeah, um, uh, figuring out creative ways to like, change. Figuring out creative ways to like, change things, you know? It's challenging and I love it. <laughs> that's not what I that's not how I was saying. That's not what I was saying or how I was doing it. But anyway, so yeah, I enjoy it. I like solving challenging problems. So yeah, I do enjoy it. Um, what's the least thing you like about your job or dislike about your job? Paperwork. Hmm? Paperwork. Paperwork. Paperwork is I dislike paperwork a lot. For me, the least. I think the least thing. I don't know if I should say. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I I wish there was more people. Like I wish there were more black female engineers. So I'm crying out. If you're Study out there. engineering. If you're all out there. It's it's. This is a wake up. We call. need we need more we need more. Can we let's make this a public service announcement? We need more. Yeah, come on. Study engineering, guys. Please. I recruited A&M quite a lot. Actually, so. Um, but yeah. Anyway, so if sorry, should I have said that? Yeah, that's fine. Right? That's not. Okay. I'm just just in case anybody works in this. Um, to say that you want a more minority. Yes, but so if you have any questions, I'm sure some of the questions you might have is like. Do you wear your afro like this to work? Yes, she does. No, I no. don't. <laughs> I have a work wig somewhere that I wear. Or I have my hair up and like, I wear my hair like in a high up um, bun like this. <laughs> I wear my hair in like a bun, like a high up bun like this. Or I just wear like a wig. And we can discuss why or why I don't in another video. And um, so for my hair, the way I <laughs> the way I wear it to work, I wear it like in a <laughs> flat head like this. <laughs> <laughs> and um, or <laughs> that. Yeah, that's serious. Yeah. But, um, so yeah, if you have any questions. Make sure you leave them down below. I'm sure y'all have a lot. So we want to start actually doing like um, questions, like you know, email us like your questions if you're going through something, if you need like relationship advice or just life, you know, advice in general. Send us an email, and you can email us at. We don't have an email yet. What can they email us at? <laughs> us at. I thought you were gonna use the Tony. No. Do we have what was our wedding one? Do you remember? We can't tell you. Damn. Yeah, we did actually make an email for that. Okay, okay we just not make one. What we call it? Okay. So if you have any questions or if you wanna, you know, need advice about something, it could be anonymous, it could be whatever, but we want y'all to start sending us like 
you know, emails and stuff. So you can email us at IBK and Talani at gmail.com. I'll put the put it down below. And uh, we'll start doing videos like addressing issues and giving advice and things like that. So really looking forward to that. So yep. we'll make sure you participate. Looking forward to it. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't boring. Um, I know we sound like total nerds, but we're not. Um, we're not nerds. We just, you know. And then one thing, this video's gonna be long, but one thing that like, I feel like I don't see on YouTube, I don't really see like people in like, you know, like um, technical um, Discipline. disciplines on here talking about what they do. I see some like tech disciplines, but not like, you know, like doctors and engineers and like lawyers. And there's a few, but there's not a lot, especially like, they are like, you know. Um, so yeah, we want to try and like give that to y'all, like put that up there and you know. Give y'all something a little bit different, but anyways, hope y'all enjoyed this video. As always, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. If you are not subscribed, make sure you're subscribed. And if you have any questions, down below, yada yada yada. All right, y'all. Bye. Bye. In the area I'm in, so a lot of the short falls. <laughs> yes, I enjoy it. <laughs> Okay, let's start again. Just make it quick. Though. So, do you enjoy what you do? Yes, I do. <laughs> so, what about it? What about it? Do you enjoy? Work. <laughs> oh no! Just say <laughs> like one sentence, not a paragraph. Okay, ask me again. All right. So, do you enjoy what you do? I do. I do enjoy what I do, and I really love it. <laughs> Elaborate.